age old question on global dokkan battle should you skip or should you sub hey yo what's good if you rocking with your boy and i mean if you rock again with your boy hit the like button subscribe and turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos so this age old question of should you skip go coup in my honest opinion, I'm gonna I'm gonna be short with it, and I'm gonna say, yeah, you probably should skip this banner. It's I mean, literally looking on first impressions of this banner, it does not look all that appetizing in the least part. Um, you literally have a bunch of old units on here that kind of don't do anything anymore, and then you also have Raditz that's Raditz and it's on the top of the low tier to be quite honest so it, you don't really have a lot uh really going with you on this one because i mean like i said uh path of power goku is lovely the active skill the kamehameha is absolutely nasty uh Aider or hachan is really really good unit but i mean it's just these these units right there is absolutely killing it for me in terms of just not really want to summon on this. Now, obviously, take this with a grain of salt. I am going to summon on this banner. I'm a content creator. Obviously, I'm going to summon. If it wasn't for that, I would not be summoning on this banner at all. My main goal is to go through and actually get the tickets. And then after that, if I get whatever I want, then I can just collect some of the Dragon Stones from the sales and then keep it moving for the 8th Andy. And that's probably going to be sort of the move uh, going through uh, these last couple of, uh, actually the next couple of months of banners, even with the Yamcha banner as well too. And I love this Yamcha and I'm literally definitely summoning on them. I just hope that I get them with the tickets as well too. And maybe even a dupe that way I can keep it pushing for the eighth anniversary of what you should be looking for uh, on Global Dokkan Battle. Now I got to say as well too, this is going to be the uh, sort of order for these uh, banners. Obviously it's going to be Goku, then it's going to be Bardock, and then it's going to be uh, Yamcha. And that's again, if somehow Dokkan Battle likes to change up the banners every now and then. It should be this way. If it's not, then that's that's a tough tip. We get Yamcha first, then we get Bardock after that. Yeah, I don't really care. I mean, I'm gonna summon for either one of them regardless, but in terms of, especially if you are a new player to Dokkan Battle, especially on Global, uh, I would highly recommend you probably skip all three of these banners actually. And don't get me wrong, the Bardock banner has a little bit more value than the Goku banner and then in my opinion, Yamcha Banner has way more value uh, for new players and also even returning players and stuff like that. Like, you literally get Ginyu out of this when you get the Goku as well. Yajirobe's pretty uh, chill. Uh, Yamcha's very good flash unit. Trunks is, uh, he's okay. Same with Freeze on that one. Uh, and then uh, the Goku as well, too. I don't really use him that much anymore, even with his Easy A. And if you come through here as well, you get a little bit of life on these banners just a little bit of life like they get just a little bit better in my honest opinion i would highly recommend you probably skip all this until we get to like you know golden week say a day uh goku gohan and go ten day you know stuff like that where we're probably gonna get a joint celebration that might uh especially for say a day that might honestly have a new sort of mechanics where we might have a standby and then a finish skill or even just a finish skill not a standby or whatever uh i highly recommend you probably skip these units for those because that should be somewhere on par with uh, around the eighth anniversary maybe a little bit under but they should probably be somewhere around the same amount of sort of power especially on global they'll be the first ones that have the new active skills and stuff like that so that'd be like a pretty big banner that you can actually summon for and plus that gives you a lot of time for a new player to grind out a lot of dragon stones and get in the game with everyone else for the eighth anniversary now sort of ending this off again i will say this that uh all these units right here are sort of subject to change they could possibly uh, take some of these units out put some other units in especially with uh oh i just clicked out of that whole banner i didn't even realize i literally clicked out of bardock banner at all the same thing with bardock like some of these units may get taken out some of them units may get easy A's. i don't think that anybody probably here is going to get an easy a anytime soon and you have the best shot at one of these fools getting an easy a before anything else so again that is another thing that could probably happen later on maybe one of them get easy a's maybe you want to pick them up or so but my i highly recommend if you are going to summon probably tickets first and then use dragon stones and stuff like that later on if you really need to go in and probably get a dupe or so like that like you know at your own risk there but again if just to recap this all up i would highly recommend you probably skip this banner especially if you're new or free to play
that's just it. But other than that, hopefully this video was informational for you. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications again. Would highly, greatly appreciate that. Would. But other than that, stay safe. God bless, and I'm out. Peace. Never stop forgetting if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, it. no, I ain't the type to give up.